What's up guys, it's Jackson. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to shoot on the run. We're gonna be starting a video series where we're sharing with you how to start shooting on the run. And in today's video, we're gonna be showing you the basics of how to get started. The first part to shooting on the run is you wanna get your hands back in a shooting position and you want to be rotating around your inside foot. When I'm back here, I like to call this spot my key. I'm looking over my shoulder and I'm ready to shoot and I'm twisting around my inside foot. Once you're in your key and you're ready to shoot, you want to push off your back foot, make sure your hips are rotating and you want to follow through with your arms. It should all be very natural and your follow through, make it just like your regular time and room shot. And if you do all this right, you should be coming through so well that you'll be backpedaling. Now I'm gonna show you a drill that was really helpful for me getting to learn how to shoot on the run. So you guys may know this shot as a jump shot, but a jump shot actually really helps you to learn to twist your hips and follow through. So basically, you wanna be coming from goal line extended. You wanna have your hands back in the key, your back pointed towards the goal and then you wanna be taking a step, rotating your hips, and following through with your arms. And remember, a jump shot is not an actual jump, it's just a little skip. If you're able to shoot this left and right, you will be a super lethal player. Learn to shoot left or your non-dominant hand, you wanna just practice it. you're taking your jump shot, you wanna have your hands back, you wanna be rotating around your inside foot, make sure you're doing a good follow through, you wanna make sure your hips are rotating. If you're doing all that correctly, you should be generating enough power where you're backpedaling away from the cage. Thanks for watching, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Keep an eye out for the next video in this series where we'll be showing you how to incorporate this drill into a regular on the run shot.